Hello friends! I am filming two videos today, so if you recognize this look from another video or a future video, I don't know which order this is going to be uploaded, but don't be alarmed by that. So for today's video, I'm going to be- I'm going to sneeze, hold on. <coughs> Bless me. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures because I mentioned that it is quite an extensive process in my what is on my iPhone video and I figured it'd be fun to show you guys my extensive process, especially because I made the switch from Visco to Lightroom and it was a freaking cultural reset. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, my pictures look so much better. If you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below, give this video a like, and follow me on all of my social medias. They'll be on the screen, displayed somewhere, and in the description down below and listen to all my music on spotify so without further ado i'm going to start screen recording my phone and we're gonna get into it okay so i told you before i use lightroom as my main photo editing app and let me just like import a really quick picture um let's go with this one this one's cute it's of me at the beach with a bagel i have a whole extensive list right here so i'm just gonna go through all of it um, so the first thing that I go into is light and I don't do anything with the exposure like as a preset I kind of just play around and see if it's appropriate for the picture and I don't do anything with contrast either But in highlights I make it minus 52 These are just like rough estimates by the way like you don't have to Do everything the way I do it obviously um, and then I go into shadows and I do plus 60 um, and then for whites, I do plus 50, and for blacks, I do minus 25. So yeah, that's what I go- that's what I do in light. Now color is where it gets pretty complex because there's a lot going on. So in the like initial color setting that pops up when you pick color, I do temperature plus 7, and then tint plus 6 to make it a little more pink, which I like for my pictures. And then for saturation, I do minus 10 like that. It wasn't a big difference, but I don't know. I, I think it works. So then you're still in colors, but you go into the button that says mix. And that's where it shows you like this whole range of colors that you can edit in the pictures. So for the reds, the hue I bring up to plus 22. Um, saturation is plus 41. Sometimes it's like a hit or miss with trying to get the numbers exactly correct, but like I said, you don't have to do it exactly. And then for the reds and luminance, I do minus 19. Don't even ask me like how I figured this out, guys. Like I just did. <laughs> Moving on to orange, hue is minus 12. Um, saturation is plus 19. Oh no, I'm sorry. Saturation is plus nine. That was a mistake. Also like, especially if one color that I don't really like is more prominent than the other colors or I want more of a color being shown then I play around with all of these settings because sometimes sometimes it doesn't always work and I need to do some edits so I'll show you guys what that looks like in a bit but for now we're sticking with like my normal preset so for orange hue is minus 12 saturation is plus 9 and luminance is minus 20 yeah okay and then going into yellow, I really don't like yellow in my pictures, so I bring the hue down to minus 66. So you can see like in the background that lifeguard chair that's turned over, that's gonna change quite a bit. Um, saturation is minus 87. You can already see like in the background, it's literally like not even yellow anymore. <laughs> and then luminance I brought up to 13. So yeah, that's that. And then green, I don't do anything to saturation and luminance, but I use plus 16 for the hue. And then for light blue, I do hue is minus five. Um, wow, I can't even read my own handwriting. Um, I do saturation plus 50. Yeah, like that. And then luminance is plus 96. 
Okay, so that's light blue. And then for like dark blue, um, hue is minus 34. The sky is gonna look a little whack, but just trust me. Saturation is plus nine. And then luminance is plus 80. After I do things like that, the sky looks a little washed out. I might decide, you know what, maybe I'll bring the luminance a little down so that I can see more of the blue. Or maybe I'll bring the whole exposure down to see more of the colors and like make them more like pop more. It's it's all like trial and error, but these are just like the basics that I start with and then I just play around with the rest. Um, so yeah, so that's dark blue. And then I don't do anything for purple, but I go into pink and I do the hue is plus four, um, saturation is plus 19. I'll be completely honest, actually, I don't even know if Lightroom is free because my dad has like an Adobe Suite account and I just use his, so if it's not free, I'm not the one paying for it. Um, so definitely like research that, but also like, especially if you're a student, they have student discounts. Anyways, so I digress. For pink, yeah, um, hue is plus four, saturation is 19, and luminance is plus 20. Okay, so that's all that I do for the color portion of it. That was a lot, I know, but I'll, I'll have it all like written down in the description so you guys can see it and just like follow the template. And then after color, I go into effects, and the only thing I do is bring up the clarity to plus 25 like that. And then for detail, I do noise reduction. I bring that up to 46. And then after that, you see that detail is like able to be edited now. So I bring that up to 58. And yeah, that's all that I do for, um, my photo edits so like i can just show you how it looks without the edits and then with the edits so yeah that's basically what i do for my instagram theme i just go through my presets so like i don't have to go through all of these um, multiple times so let me show you guys how i make it into a preset so to make it a preset you press on the check mark and then you go back into the picture and you see at the top right corner there are these three dots you click on that and then it says create preset and then you can just title the preset you leave all these checks like alone you keep them um and you can just call it like whatever like i don't know ash insta set preset whatever you need a check mark, and then when you go into presets, it should be in your user presets. So if you want to like switch it around, then that's how you make a preset. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I edit my Instagram. Sorry, that was a very like extensive process, but like I said, I'll have like it written out in the description, so it's a lot easier to look at and to follow along with so thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to this point you are a very good human i hope you guys liked seeing how i edit my photos so yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye